So I'm going to show you how you can get all of your pictures, whether it's from screenshots, pictures that you've taken with the camera, pictures from text messages, or pictures from the internet, to save automatically onto your SD card. Um, it used to be really easy on old versions of Android, but now it's kind of complicated, so I'll show you what to do. So you want to get the SD card into the phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy S10e. So go to My Files, which is stock, and... Here's what it's going to look like. So you'll scroll down to SD card and you can format it here. It's going to delete everything on your SD card. So I already pulled everything off and put it on my computer. So I don't have to worry about that. I don't think you have to format it, but just makes it easier to look at and all the folders will be fresh and neat. So I've already done that. And so then what I'll do is click on SD card and there's nothing under any of this stuff right now. Um, so I'm going to make some new folders. I'm going to make a couple new folders. Go to create folder and make one called text pics or something like that. There'll be pictures from your text messages. And then you can create another folder. We can do like screenshots, um, SD, screenshots going to your SD card. So now that we have those made, um, you want to get this app called X Gallery. And I'll just show you what it looks like in the Play Store. So this is what it looks like. So you'll download that. And in this upper right corner, you hit the camera icon. And we'll go down towards the bottom. So it says storage location. It starts out as internal storage, so just move it to SD card. I'll go back and then you'll go to settings and go down to apps so at the very bottom you'll find that X gallery and permission storage just allow it to have access to everything <clears throat> and go back and down here under storage click that and it will say internal storage for you and then just hit this change button so now I have it on SD, but it used to be internal storage, so just you can move the files, hit that move button, change it from internal to SD. So we're good there, let's hit back, we'll go all the way back. So now when we take a... I'll just take a picture of the corner of the room. You can see under X Gallery, it's got a folder now called Camera, and it's got that little SD card symbol, so that's where the photo is. We can check that too by going to My Files, and we're on the SD card right now. So you'd look at it like this, DCIM Camera, and there's that picture. So to get the text messages to go to the SD card, you want to get this app in the bottom left corner. It's called the Next SMS. It also might come up under Hand Sent, H A N D C E N T S M S. So there's this. I've been using it for a little bit, so I have some text under here. But you swipe to the side, go to Settings, and you can toggle between All and Basic at the top. So go to All, Application Settings, and here's the Save Directory. So in the top left corner, you'll be able to change it from S10e. You'll be able to change it to SD card. And then you just hit text picks on the bottom right, that folder that we made earlier. And click use this folder and allow. Go back. So now you'll see that when I download a, a picture, I'll touch on it. In the top right, I can hit this download. Attachment is copied to the SD card. And when I go to the gallery, you can see there's... On the top left there, there's text picks. So again, to check it, we can go to My Files and look in the SD card, and you'll see under text picks, there's that picture. So let's see. Now we want to download pictures from the internet, and this is a little strange, but you want to go under Samsung, like the stock internet Samsung. You go to the bottom right, and then go to Settings. Scroll down, Sites and Downloads. And so I have it right now on SD card, but originally it will say phone. So just change it to SD card. Back onto that. And now you can go to Chrome. 
top right for settings settings again go down to downloads and now you can pick the download location so since we did that thing with the samsung internet a second ago it now it lets us pick sd card i don't know why that is but then you have to do that thing with samsung internet first otherwise the sd card won't be available here so we'll do that we'll go back and kind of prove it to ourselves that we can download an image so let's just i don't know download this image and it will say sd card right there so we'll download it under x gallery you can see that it's right here and again you can see it under my files too under sd card under download so the last thing we want to do is screenshots and so you have to get this app called touch shot which is in the center of the screen right now so you would hit that and go to settings under the settings it actually lets you pick the file location so um, it starts out on internal so just do a manual setting and that screenshot folder that we made earlier um, so you would hit here the sd card and so here's that screenshot folder that we made screenshots sd click to use that folder and we'll click allow on that and if I try to take a screenshot right now, it's going to interrupt my video, so I won't do that. So, But I'll just tell you that you would hit screen capture, and then it would come up with like a little floaty thing in the center of the screen. And you could go to whatever screen you wanted, and you would hit that little floating screenshot button, and that's how you would screenshot it. And it, it does go into this gallery. I just don't have anything in there right now. But that's how you would screenshot it. Now, for some reason... If I try to download a PDF, I just don't understand why it won't go onto the SD card. I really don't understand that. <laughs> Let's see if I can find a better example. Like this Ryobi one, if I wanted to download a manual for it. It says SD card, and it says I can download it, and sometimes it goes there, and sometimes it does not go there. <laughs> so it's not under recent files right now either. SD card download. Okay, well, there it downloaded it. It's very inconsistent, though, so sometimes I click it and it says nothing at all. So sometimes when I click this, I'll have to just change it to downloads and just download the PDF right to the phone because sometimes it doesn't go to the SD card. But anyways, it's a pretty good solution. Um, we have almost everything we want anyways. So downloads from the internet, which are pictures, text pictures, um, your camera, screenshots, which I couldn't demonstrate because it will freeze my screen recording app um, and then I mean it kind of does download from the internet sometimes the PDFs but not always but you know it's pretty close it's a pretty good solution anyways so hopefully that helps you out